Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to use inverse kinematics or IKs in Blender. This was suggested by Ashley Bradbury, I hope I pronounced that right, and uh, let's get into it. So I'm just going to make the left side of um, the armature and just for practice you're going to make the right side. So first we're going to start with the legs and then move on to the arms. This is the model from the previous episodes that I've made so you can check those out. Okay, so as I was saying you need two bones. So you need this one. So just press select it in edit mode and press E to extrude and then Y to extrude on the Y axis. And now select this bone and go to the bone tab right here and you need to uncheck deform so it doesn't deform any mesh because we're only going to use it to control the other bones. And now you should press Alt, Alt P actually and clear parent so we can move it freely but uh, just leave it here for now then select the knee and do the same thing extrude on the y axis but on the opposite side select it uncheck deform alt p clear parent and this one we're going to move in front something like this should work now we need to go into pose mode so just do that and select this shin bone right here before we move on, we need to name our bones. So this bone down here is our IK target leg dot L. And this one is our pole target leg dot L. You will get why we name this just in a second. So select the shin bone right here. Go to the bone constraints tab right here and add a inverse kinematics now this will change color and you will get a few options here so get target and pole target that's why we named them that way so you just go target armature and then find your target so ik target leg dot l and pole target armature pole target leg dot l now if this happens that means you're doing it right if something like this happens it's good we can fix it the chain length we have to change that so that is how many legs you have above your uh, target. So above this bone, I got one, two legs. So that's my chain length. Select it, change the chain length to two, but our leg still looks a bit broken. That's because we had to change our pole angle. Now this might be 90 or 180 or minus 90. That's up to, um, up to each person. So just try and test it. If I put it to 90, it's definitely not that. So maybe minus 90, that should work. Now if you move, if you take this bone and move it, you can see that it works properly. If you're gonna animate, you could just select this bone, these bones, press H and only have this bone. So the other ones are not in the way. And now we're gonna move on to the arm. So the arm is pretty simple. It's actually the same thing. Let's go to the side view. We have to first create a target bone for uh, wrist here. So you make it in the same position as this one. Extrude on the Y axis, select it, turn off deform, Alt P, clear parent. I'm gonna leave it here. And now in the elbow, extrude on the Y axis, Turn off deform, alt P, clear parent, move it forward. Select this part, go into pose mode. Rename your bones. So this will be um, IK, IK target arm dot L. And then we'll have pole target arm dot L. Like this, select this bone, add some inverse kinematics, target armature, IK target arm dot L, and for the pole target, pole target arm dot L. Again, it breaks, so now just adjust the chain length, which is 2 again. Pole angle should be minus 90 again. And if you take this bone now, you can move your arm. As I already said, you can make the right side now, that's just for practice. This was done with a weight painted character already, but it can be weight painted, it doesn't have to be. 
it works both ways. Now, if it wasn't white painted, you would just go and um, white paint it now. So hopefully this helped you, hopefully you enjoyed. If you are a very generous person, then I suggest you go to my Patreon and support me on there. Uh, you can subscribe, you can leave a like, um, comment down below, share it with your friends, you can do all that fun stuff. You can even follow me on my social media. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.